Hello, poetry lovers and poetry curious. We are here for our our last dip into Dorothy Parker's Enough Rope. And we're starting with the poem Symptom Recital. Now, one of the things that struck me as I was reading this is that she, in certain places in, in this poem, is one, this poem is one of them. She reminds me of kind of an adult version um, in terms of subject matter of Shel Silverstein. And I wondered if Shel Silverstein, uh, I would think given his age, he would have known of Dorothy Parker, if he considered her any kind of an influence. I, I tried to look it up online and I didn't see that. Um, and if you don't know Shel Silverstein, Silverstein, he's was at one time well known for his poetry for children. Um, there's where the, si where the Sidewalk Ends, The Light in the Attic, and also his art. And he had a book of, um, shall I call it, adult cartoons, adult illustrations that have that still had some of that wit and um, quite a bit of social observation as well. So some of the, the art was actually quite poignant. Um, but anyway, that's Shel Silverstein. And, you know, I don't know what happened. I got the feeling that he went out of favor at some point, and I didn't know if there was, like, some sort of really good reason for that or if it's just the way things are, and he passed out of favor. I was older when his books started coming out, but my mother got them for my sister, who was four years younger, and I ended up loving him at least as much as my sister did. And in fact, I think I still have one of his books, not from my childhood, but I missed him, and so I picked it up when I saw it somewhere. All right, so, symptom recital. I do not like my state of mind. I'm bitter, querulous, unkind. I hate my legs, I hate my hands. I do not yearn for lovelier lands. I dread the dawn's recurrent light. I hate to go to bed at night. I snoot at simple, earnest folk. I cannot take the gentlest joke. I find no peace in paint or type. My world is but a lot of tripe. I'm disillusioned, empty-breasted, for what, I, for what I think, I'd be arrested. I am not sick, I am not well. My quantum dreams are shot to hell. My soul is crushed, my spirit sore. I do not like me anymore. I cavil, quarrel, grumble, grouse. I ponder on the narrow house. I shudder at the thought of men. I'm due to fall in love again. <laughs> so again, I just love the... You know, so, so she takes, you know, she certainly pokes fun at women as, as well as men. It's just the, the whole spectrum of romantic behavior. And uh, the last one that I'm going to read to you from this book. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up reading, in fact, I might have already recorded it from another anthology. I'm not 100% sure one way or the other. Um, but as I mentioned when I did the initial review of this book on, on YouTube, um, I will revisit Dorothy Parker, a, a larger volume of her work. All right, fighting words. Say my love is easy had. Say I'm bitten raw with pride. Say I am too often sad, still behold me at your side. Say I'm neither brave nor young, say I woo and coddle care, say the devil touched my tongue, still you have my heart to wear. But say my verses do not scan, and I get me another man. <laughs> 
In other words, this is an admission that she holds a lot of pride in, uh, in the meter of her poetry, exactly the thing that I have mentioned I am a little deaf to. Now here it's, it's quite, you know, say I'm neither brave nor young. I mean, that's, again, that's very obvious. Um, in any way. But, you know, there are subtleties here that, well, maybe not in this one, but there are subtleties in others of her poem that I may miss. Um, so, yeah, she's saying you can, you can slander me one way or another, um, but don't, t you know, don't, don't insult my ability to, to create metrical verses, because I can do that. <laughs> Um, and I love to say the devil touched my tongue. Something tells me that she has probably had that accusation leveled at her before. All right, so there's there's Dorothy Parker for now. I'm putting her away. I'm actually going to let this go back out into the world because, of course, she should be spread around liberally. But... Um, but also because I do intend to get um, a more comprehensive volume of her poetry uh, to see where it went over time. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.